the Lexus RC350. I've already spent time with it on the track. Now I'm going to see how it is as a daily driver. I'm going to live with it for one week in South Florida. Will I be impressed? Let's find out. It's got a great shape and up front you can see that the F Sport version here has a black mesh grill. The side profile looks great. It definitely attracts a lot of attention on the road. You can see it's meant for business here with the aggressive wheels. And it's got some boy racer scoops as well. Not functional, but still they look cool. You might be able to see some Toyota Super influence going back to Lexus's history, but really from every angle, it looks aggressive and thankfully different from other cars on the road today. I like a car that stands out and this RC350 certainly does. Sporty and aggressive theme carries over to the interior as well. The all power seats with lumbar are firm and supportive, perfect for cornering and also attractive too. The interior is a nice mix of neutral tones. You've got two shades of leather. I really like the white stitching here on the black and a carbon fiber look for an accent too, which is carried over onto the dash. Armrest doubles as storage. Inside you get some deep storage and also two USB inputs and a place to hook up your smartphone as well, plus a charger. Moving forward, you get two cup holders. Here you have Lexus's remote touch interface. It actually has haptic feedback, which is adjustable, and you can pinch, zoom, double click, basically use it just like you would a mouse pad on your computer. Go ahead and click, access things like apps. Lexus Inform gives you lots of options, Bing, Facebook, Pandora, and many things to keep you in touch with technology, Yelp, and you can even pick restaurants. It's definitely a great setup. Of course, it gives you useful information about traffic and weather too. And it gives you excellent access to your tunes in all formats from Sirius XM, also to your USB or of course your iPhone or smartphone. The Mark Levinson sound system even tweaks your MP3s to make them sound better. Here you have the buttons and knobs to control your radio the old fashioned way if you like. You get an 8-speed transmission, which you can shift yourself, or you can shift with the paddle shifters on the steering wheel. You get a drive mode selector with snow mode that also gives you sport and sport plus, and those really stiffen up the suspension, and those also decrease traction control a bit. Of course, the front passengers get heated and ventilated seats, and dual zone climate control, which is very important in Florida. The analog clock is certainly a nice styling touch, and the push button start with hands free entry is also a great luxury feature, too. On the steering wheel, you have a large Lexus emblem. You also get controls for your radio volume and channel. Bluetooth here. Over here, you have controls for the radar cruise control. This familiar stalk helps you control the cruise control, which is familiar to all Toyota Scion and Lexus drivers. And then you have this, which controls a menu screen right in front of you, which scrolls through some useful information. You also get a large tachometer. The speedometer is actually digital. You also get the outside temperature, temperature gauge, fuel gauge, and a trip meter too. If you activate the Sport or Sport Plus modes, it changes the look a bit and gives a white glow to the tachometer. Just to the left of the steering wheel you have controls for your lighting, also the odometer, and down here buttons to control the blind spot monitoring and parking sensors too. I like the look of the pedals, definitely race bred, and you even have a large dead pedal to give your foot a rest. On the door you get three memory settings for the seat, power window and door lock controls plus your outside mirrors. A bit of storage down here, and a place to store your phone right here too. You can even wedge your phone into the cup holder if you want. That's pretty convenient. Overall, the interior is not just nice looking, it's also technically savvy and comfortable too.
The seat automatically slides forward if you want to get into the back. Two people will fit back there, as long as they're not too large. And you even get your own vents in the back seats too. The trunk is thankfully quite large, given the amount of luggage I have for this trip. And it swallows up really everything you need for a good long road trip. Powering the Lexus RC350 is a 3.5 liter V6, which makes 306 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque. 0 to 60 takes 5.8 seconds onto a top speed of 143 miles per hour. Fuel economy is rated at 22 miles per gallon overall. You can expect 19 in the city and 28 on the highway. Pricing for the 2015 Lexus RC350 starts out at $42,790. Now that's for the rear wheel drive version. You can also get all wheel drive. The F Sport package, which is $3,385, adds exterior F Sport bumper and spindle grille, 19 inch F Sport wheels, summer tires, TFT instrument cluster, heated and ventilated front F Sport seats, perforated leather steering wheel and shift knob, black headliner, and aluminum pedals. For performance, you also get the adaptive variable suspension, AVS, and Sport S Plus mode. The navigation Mark Levinson premium sound system is $2,610. That gives you 17 speakers, navigation, backup camera, remote touchpad controller. Lexus informed destination includes one year trial subscription and also the app suite with voice command and Lexus Insider, which basically will beam you information straight to the car. There's the $600 blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. $595 special paint, the $500 intuitive parking assist, the $500 dynamic radar cruise control with pre-collision system, $1,900 variable gear ratio steering, the $410 fog lamps, and the $260 accessory package which includes the trunk mat, cargo net, and wheel locks. With all that plus destination, you're out the dealer door at $54,475. Now that's certainly not cheap, but you do get a lot of luxury and a heck of a lot of performance as well. Plus, you get a car that really stands out in the crowd. I mean, everybody was just saying something giving Lexus RC looks in Miami. Now that says something. You know, Miami is a very flashy town and a car that gets noticed in Miami is definitely a standout. And this Lexus RC is definitely a standout. I like the long bonnet up front got a good clear view of the road in front of you and all around as well no real blind spots back there cruising down the historic main street of Hollywood Florida and I've just settled in to the Lexus RC 350 here and it was very quick to cool down which is nice and quite easy to get acclimated in set up your navigation find out where you're going put on your favorite tunes program the radio nice and easy the way it should be as always with the radar cruise control in a Toyota or a Lexus, it works flawlessly, 51, 52 miles an hour. It's just keeping pace with the car in front of me. You can adjust the sensitivity of it with this button right here, right on the bottom. And it works like a charm. It keeps you close to the car in front of you, slows down when they slow down, speeds up when they speed up and it really makes driving on the highway long distances very luxurious and convenient and it's also very safe too because if that car slows down and you're not paying attention well it'll go ahead and stop you and that's a great feature blind spot warnings under side mirrors also make for a great safety feature it keeps you out of trouble in heavy traffic the engine's really a screamer when you want it to be. Check it out. Really nice exhaust tone. That's what it's all about. And then, when you want to throw it into a turn, well, <laughs> handles exactly like you'd expect it. Very, very, very entertaining to drive. Now in terms of performance, Lexus of late has really meant business. The Kia Toyota has gotten serious about building excellent sports cars at Toyota Lexus. And you can see that with, of course, the Lexus LFA and on the low end, 
the Scion FRS. I've driven that on the track. Check out my review of that one. But the Lexus RC here is very capable. I like it in rear-wheel drive format. I guess I'd go for the all-wheel drive if you live in bad climate, but the rear-wheel drive is what you want for fun and chuckable handling, and this RC certainly is chuckable. It will let you get a little loose. Of course, the traction control is going to kick in, but you can certainly have fun, and you can really experience handling on the edge with the Lexus if you want to in a safe environment, of course. But it is a blast to drive. You can shift it down here, which I like to do with the shift lever, or you can shift it with paddle shifters for all those new wave folks that like to shift that way. I guess what I'm trying to say about the Lexus RC's overall image and sporting prowess is that if it were a female, I think it would be a corporate lawyer who's very capable of getting the job done in a very professional manner, but at the same time, she knows how to kick back and have a great time on the weekend. So the Lexus RC here is really the perfect girl. I actually have a song called Perfect Girl. Check that one out on iTunes. I think you'll like it. With the RC, Lexus wanted to design a premium sports cube that's fun to drive regardless of your skill level. And I think they've really pulled it off. If you want to take this RC350 to the track, you can and you can have a great time. Trust me, I've done it. Check my video review of the Lexus RC and RC F Sport on the track elsewhere on YouTube. But they want to get a younger breed of Lexus driver in the door at dealers, and I think Lexus will do that. It's a great looking car, it's very fun to drive, it's technically savvy, and it's also luxurious and comfortable too. Plus, it's been the perfect companion to cruise all around South Florida, especially Miami. I'm driving Ivan Katz. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, subscribe to me on YouTube, and check out all my other videos. Thanks for watching.